Okay, so we got some Animal Crossing here. Loading times are pretty long in this game. It's going to be a little short video. I just wanted to showcase some of the stuff that I've been doing in the game since I've got it. I'm not really an Animal Crossing guy. But it was a challenge just to get this character here, Isabel. I felt like I was doing the right things with my life once she showed up. She doesn't really say or do anything important after the initial thing that she does, which is she kind of tells you what you need to do with your island and uh, gets it in motion where you can get some of these amiibo characters to visit. You know, so if you've got the amiibos and you want to get specific villagers, uh, you got to kind of get her, not kind of, you got to get her on board. So I've maxed out the 10 villagers, but I recently got rid of somebody. So we're going to look here. Um, let's see, Audie. She didn't really, she didn't give anything. I know I'm bad for that. I don't really read unless you gave anything. But yeah, we'll do a tour of my house. I mean, MTV crib style. I got some guy that was like, Jeff Bezos that just showed up to my town when I had the gates open and he just dropped a whole bunch of gold nuggets don't know this guy from Adam and it was enough money to where I was rich man I mean I could pay off this house like I've got what four or five rooms so check it we'll start in this room this is just where I keep junk at kind of like my music room where I just want to chill and it's kind of like some of the rooms in my house, unfortunately. I don't know what I'm doing with them. <laughs> so, you know, over time, I start collecting stuff. And I'm like, oh, here's the theme based off of the stuff I collected and enjoy. It all fits together. Something like that, right? Kitchens are easy. You know, dining rooms are easy because, you know, you're eating and cooking in those rooms. Bathrooms are pretty easy, too. Here's my bathroom. I can change in here and dry my clothes here. Though this could be outside somewhere, I just, I don't know why I have it in here. Little toilet here and what have you, a radio, iron my clothes in here. So yeah, it would be nice if they upgraded the house to give you a garage. How sweet would that be? Or you could have like a little bike or something, some kind of moped to travel around the town, like, you know, a bonus six star maybe. So yeah, I kept with the regular theme. I'm really proud of my, you know, room like this. You're wondering who that person in the picture is. I'll explain that in a minute. So here's my room. Nothing fancy. I mean, I've got Mario Kart here and some weird walls. And I can change clothes. and That's pretty much it. So did we go upstairs yet? We didn't go upstairs. I'm just doing a little house tour. Then we'll travel around a little bit. I'll explain some more. So, you know that Easter event? The little bunny? I mean, all that stuff went here. That's all I got going on here. As for this room, well, it's like a little chill spot, like a basement. Growing up as a kid, I had a basement where we played like Nintendo and stuff. And, uh, you know, made me think of that based off how the floors. I probably could do something different with those walls, to be honest. But I kind of like the Animal Crossing uh, leaves and all that on there. So, yeah, there's my house. You've got the four rooms, the bedroom. The room there on the left, the bathroom. So that's, you know, four rooms right there. One, two, three, four. And then the two rooms on the side going this way and that way. So we'll leave. It's a pretty big house, I, I would say. For one person. But that's you paying it off. So I got my nice little garden gnomes here. Kind of like in real life, you know, I live near a museum. We're not going to go to my museum. It's pretty, pretty sure it's like everybody else's museum. 
But uh, what I find fascinating about this game is, you know, you have Tom Nook, who's like the bad guy, the villain. I remember reading magazines where they shape him as a villain. I mean, nobody... Raccoons go through your trash, you know? So nobody wants a raccoon on their property, let alone telling them what to do, you know what I mean? But Nook, you know, he's kind of a nice guy. What I mean by that is, would your mortgage provider or lender, you know give you a no interest free loan on a home and build it up before it was finished for you no problem and you could say yeah they might build up my house but there's gonna be some interest there man and all i'm doing is picking up fruit and stuff like that and seashells random you know just random junk and i'm giving it to his nephews you know started from the bottom now we're here i mean i was in a little tent like the camping place. Here's a villager here I don't really care for. I want him gone, but uh, he keeps showing up and I talk to him so he doesn't leave. I did get rid of somebody. Let's see. Uh, I haven't been around the island yet, so we're going to go around the island some. I like this soft music here. But yeah, you see the little beach here. Got a little Mario portrait. This is probably one of my favorite villagers here. <clears throat> well, if it is another yellow hat guy. If you didn't know what OYHG stands for, there you go. You know, I could just give her any little thing, and she usually gives some kind of cash. Like, let's just try and see. I'm going to give her one of these. And she just comes off sincere and very appreciative. Look! <clears throat> I hate to do this. Let me offer you 910 bells. It's a mere pittance. But it'll have to do. She's very generous, and maybe that's her personality type and why I can't ever get rid of her. Plus, she's got those little freckles above her beak. She's cute. She's adorable. So, yeah, um, my island is not a five star, it's a three star. I'm pretty much bad with flowering uh, all over the place and, and watering and stuff like that. It's not really my thing, but. Um, I enjoy traveling around, collecting things. It, it's kind of rewarding with this, you know, pandemic happening all over the world. You can't go to work, and you've got routines of what stuff you want to do. Well, you can't really do that. Can I not get over here? There we go. It's a struggle, but we did it. So I did some terraforming, and I was able to put this little strip here. It's kind of redundant having this bridge set up. Or soon to be set up. But, uh, yeah, I didn't realize I can get that water permit until after the fact. So, my goal in this game now um, is to pretty much make it to where I can go anywhere without having a ladder or the uh, vault pole. You know, you pretty much need those to get where you need to get. You start out in this tent, and then, you know, you're on this deserted island, and then you slowly just, you know, achieve stuff. Look at that. It's a tanuki, basically. And that's the play on words. I'm sure if you know of the Animal Crossing lore, well, Tom Nook is a play on the words tanuki. Like Tom Nuki. Like tanuki. The mach mischievous raccoons and stuff. Anywho, um... I'm not here to give you a history lesson on the game. You can go watch, you know, uh, Gaijin Gooba or somebody like that on YouTube, and they can give you the breakdown. Back to my experience with this, you know, uh, you're just trying to take care of your property. And the mistakes I make in this game, I learned from them, and I'm like, hey, maybe my house could use some redecorating. You know, you're digging up these fossils, and that's the best and yet most annoying thing in the game, is digging up these fossils, because kind of like Breath of the Wild, your tools break <clears throat> after so many uses. And when they break, you got to craft some more. Hopefully you do not see me do that on screen, but if it happens, it happens. You get like 40 or so hits on your base tools, and... 
you get a bunch more when you upgrade them. So the trick is to kind of upgrade your tools before they uh, get damaged. So I could have terraformed here so that I could cross over. I probably should do that, to be honest with you. I just haven't thought of it. Let's go ahead and get this. Yeah, I've got all the gold tools, as you can see. You're like, why don't you do a better job of other things? I mean, just hashtag blessed. Right, you know, people have just uh, been generous with certain things. I mean, I think I got the axe by pretty much um, breaking a hundred of them. Just over and over again, just smashing them for an hour. And then I told people, hey, I told people online, some strangers... I'll trade you an axe if you trade me a fishing pole. Because, you know, I'm not going to get all the fish in this game. You know, or maybe I will, but I'm not going to rush to do it like some people. I don't time travel or any of that stuff. Let me actually grab that. Yeah, but it's fun. You know, I couldn't go fishing for a while out of fear. Even though, you know, I actually did go fishing anyway. And I mean in real life, right? I used to listen to the Animal Crossing theme song fishing not playing animal crossing just to relax not thinking about catching anything just going to get away from people here i am in animal crossing actually fishing so yeah there's this guy here that sells you fake art and wow he's actually here he's never really here at all you know, they rotate some of these NPCs around. And he comes like once every two weeks or something like that. And what irritates me is, you know, I go talk to him. And, you know, I love artwork and painting. I think I've collected most of the dinosaur fossils and some of the bugs. But uh, when this dude shows up, you see he's kind of shady. Like he's got the lights off and everything. And. I wasn't even planning on, you know, being at this part of the game. But here we are, and I've got to spot what's real and what's fake. He calls me his favorite cousin and everything. And he only lets you get one art piece per day. But the reality is, you know, it's, it's one art piece per, like, two weeks. So look at this joint. A lot, of, a lot of folks have been asking me about buying that amazing painting there. But maybe the price scared them off. I want a closer look, though, bro. Like, can I zoom in this? That looks to be as close as I can get here. But what we're going to actually do... is look here at like an online source to see what's what because I wouldn't put it past them to, to fake me out so this looks like a Rembrandt it Okay, so what this says online is the fake painting removes the hat from the figure in the bla uh, black in the center of the painting. So let's actually look. Okay. So honestly, I can't tell if he has the hat on or not. But it appears that he does not have the hat, bro. Like, if I get up out of the chair... Like, the painting already looks brighter. But your boy does not look to have that hat on. Like... Like, I cannot see that at all. Okay. So I'm looking at my laptop now. That's a fake, so we're not going to waste money. I don't know. And what I'm 
discovering is sometimes he can have fake ones the whole time. Which is unfortunate. Wow, you really know your art. You can just feel the aura and the wistful painting, huh? He's wanting to give me a discount. He charges 10 times as much. I want a closer look. So what I like is, you know, they, they want you to really know your history here. So let's zoom in on this one here. And let's see if we can go online and find this. This wasn't a find the fake paintings from red tour, but it's going to be because uh, I work hard in game for my money. You know? Going to the owl dude and finding out that, you know, the stuff is... Oh, so there's... There is no fake version of the worthy painting. So buy with confidence. But this ain't the worthy painting. This is the wistful. And her eyes are closed. But her eyes are supposed to be open. So that ain't the one. No thank you, dude. Stop trying to scam me. Like, you want to you wanna find him and be like, Listen, bro, I am going to open up a can on you. So here's some informative statue. I would love to get, like, the thinker statue. So here, the real one is not blue. That one is blue. Everything here is fake. Oh my goodness. No thank you. What about this joint? He says it's his favorite piece here. And then he's going to give a discount here. I want a closer look. All right, so the fake has the wolf's tongue out. Does mine have its tongue out? Of course it does, because he's trying to get me with everything. Jeez, man. Seriously, everything here was fake. I, I, I really can't believe it. Everything in here was fake. This was fake. That was fake. That was fake. Dude, get out of my face, man. So, anyway, minor detours aside. Um, he's popped up here. Some other NPCs have popped up. You know, due to some updates. I'm sure some of you who have played this game on your own time and are familiar with the lore and series know some others are probably showing up too one of the things i learned is to uh the shovel is very important to have it to where you strike areas just as i did so that you can get a maximum of eight objects out of the ground so you don't do it you get knocked back so that's why i have the holes behind me because you can't get knocked back from the holes so you get a lot of this iron nuggets and some of these stones and my favorite, which is that gold nugget. So I mentioned gold nuggets earlier. Some generous Jeff Bezos type figure came to my island and left a whole bunch. And that's pretty much how I got rich. But I don't want to spend all of my money on the house, you know. So I still play the game and uh, try to earn as much money as I can. But the joy for me is, you know, getting to play with others. Getting to play with, you know, some of my friends and my girlfriend. You know, with the whole pandemic being what it is. Can't really get out and do stuff, you know. So, what we were having to do was, you know, hey, uh, let's see what I can drop here. Let's go ahead and drop this thing. Because I, I would rather have some more oranges, to be honest, to trade in. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to backtrack here. 
and uh, head to those children I was telling you about. But I digress. You know, being able to spend time with her and, you know, uh, be together, go to museums, stuff like that I can't currently do, it meant a lot because I'm not, again, I'm not into Animal Crossing or these kinds of games like that, but it was very chill and relaxing. Look at this. We've got, I'll just cross over here, we've got a new character in the game before I go interact with them. I am going to grab these oranges. You know, she got the game. It came out around her birthday, and you know, she was enamored with it. She's almost not even going to come see me because she wanted to play Animal Crossing. It was very bizarre. It sounded like something I would do and get dumped on the spot if I told a girl I'm choosing to play video games over hanging out. But I was like, you know, you could just, you know, play Animal Crossing here. She's like, I suppose I could, but I get it, you know. What if hanging out with me was lame, and you're just ignoring me to play Animal Crossing? I think maybe that's how she felt about it. But it all worked out. Uh, what we're going to do here, so, I'm, I'm, so much is happening here, but I can't carry anything else. Let's swap it. Let's swap it with that. I mean, we don't need that. What we do need is put that away. And here's a trick I learned here. You could actually bury, you know, money and it gets tripled. So I'm just going to bury 10000 and keep twenty because I actually don't know if I'm going to get the full 30 I'll forget and I'll be looking for that for ages, man, for ages. So what we're going to do is pick that back up. We are going to dig our hole here and hope that we don't get knocked back too far. We are getting knocked back somewhat. And you may see the difference between me only getting six or me getting eight. So there, there goes my shovel. So how they get you is kind of like you know your wallet you've only got so many credit cards and cards you can put in there what the heck was that whatever it was needs to stay away from me uh, so with my shovel gone I guess I'll go ahead and grab this we did see a new character though there he is kid cat See, I talked to him, and he's all moved in now. But I don't think Isabel pointed any of that out. So, I have another jock character, but my original one is my best friend in the game, Biff. He's a big hippo, and he's always calling me squirt and things like that. But yeah, here is uh, my town. We are first and foremost going to pick up that apple here, you know, and we are going to go into the museum. We're going to meet Blathers really quick, and then we're going to go to Nook's Cranny, and then I'll wrap up this video. I think I've shown you pretty much everything. I've shown you my house. We got to see Jolly Red and his fake paintings. Um... Here, we'll go in here real quick. So here's Blathers. I don't really like owls. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll understand why. I like that they made him nocturnal and they tried to make him look cute and not terrifying by giving him that bow tie like he's from the Nation of Islam or something. I don't know. One of those guys that wears the bow ties. You know what I'm talking about. You've got the stamp rally going on. So he just rambles on and on and on. What I don't like is you can't just make a donation. I can't say, hey, dude, check out these fossils. Check out these bugs. He's like, oh, let me assess. So then I've got four of them here. And what I love is, hey, if four of them he takes, great. They go to the museum, and I can look at those one day. However... In situations like this, guess what? I've done so much and found so many fossils that he's telling me, hey, I can't accept these. 
I'm tempted to keep them for myself, but I got to restrain myself against that and give them back to you. So no, I don't care about anything else that you have to say. It's basically a resume that you turn in front of somebody and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, we've, although we've, ex we've highly considered your resume, we decided to go in another direction. Please try again in a few months or something crazy like that. That's, it's, a, it's a job rejection. So now you can see what the skulls and everything, you know, the parts of the uh, dinosaur skeletons they were. But guess what? I get to turn that in for money, expensive money at least. So, you know, hey, there's my fossils for today. Or my, my Nook Miles, excuse me. So you have Nook Miles and you have your actual currency. Your Nook Miles lets you get, like, rare stuff. Like, you can send gifts to people. It's kind of like credit is your Nook Miles. And then you have your actual, like, cash. Don't ask me why, but the Nook Miles feel like they, they're worth more. They're harder to get those. You've got to do meaning, you know, meaningless tasks to me to get more of those miles, which is why I don't have that many. So these guys close at like 8 or 9 or something like that. We're going to go in here now. And this is pretty much how the game works if you've never played Animal Crossing or don't understand it. You get to a certain point. Now, I've I've evolved my, you know, Nook's Cranny building from, like, I guess the original little tent they had to, you know, a smaller building. And eventually they, they step up and have, like, a grocery store like this. They've got a, an old stop and shop type look. Let's check my turnip prices. 105, that's pathetic. You usually buy bells for, like, 91, or you usually buy turnips for, like, 91 per bell. And sometimes they're as high as like 600, but pretty much they're like around 100 or lower, if not slightly higher. And sometimes they insult you by telling, hey, 44 bells. Don't be like me and forget that you have these bells because, you know, they take up spaces. I didn't mean to just give that away. I meant to give so much more. 13,000, sure. And so what this serves is two purposes. You need money, and your your bag your bag space fills up, your wallet fills up. So I got to get rid of all of this stuff to give back to them, just so that you know I do have some space. You know what I mean? So let's give all that to them and see what happens from here. So we didn't give that much, but it's all gravy. What we did now is we freed up so much space. I wasn't going to give the gold nugget because I like to keep those. But uh, those go for a pretty penny too. You don't always find the money trees. At least I don't. And they always stop you to say thank you. I was like, dude, I'm in a hurry. So that was pretty cool. If you're wondering who that gal is in the picture there, that's who this town is named after. So if you've seen it say like Susanville, you know, I did it for her. She doesn't like me showing all this stuff off, but there it is. Hopefully she's not mad when she sees it, but this is my Animal Crossing video, pretty much. You know, you can customize stuff here and the the Able Sisters shop and all that. You go, you know, I, I pretty much kept everything close to the vest. I didn't want to travel all over the creation to find them. And, you know, I figured, hey, you need a ladder today. You might need a secondary ladder to climb even higher, you know, the day after that. And that would annoy me. But, uh, yeah, you got these hedgehogs here. You can put in these, you know, neat little codes, which I didn't know about till late in the game. I saw some of it online, but really didn't know uh, how it all works out. So you connect to the internet here, and you can get other people's, you know, designs with their their user IDs and names and stuff like that. And uh, from there, you know, uh, post your own if you make your own from this screen, or you know, search by the creator and download their stuff or the design.
So I'm pretty much not going to do that. But, you know, if you're wondering, that's how I did the whole, you know, Mario outfits and uh, some of the stuff you see on the ground, some of the pictures. If you just click ZL and then go into your custom design, you can just get pictures straight off of the internet and put them in there. You don't have to necessarily go through all the painstaking hours that I know some of you uh, go through. You know, I've got my mask on here. But what I love is if you save up those rods or you save up those uh, shooting star stuff, the star fragments, you can then, you know, change your outfits. Yeah, so right now I'm in a top hat, but hey, let's go business casual. You know, maybe I look like a pimp, I don't know. Puff daddy? Pimp daddy? I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is my city. Not my city, but my island. I feel like I'm in the city with being in this store here. Hope you guys liked it. Give me some suggestions on what I should do to make it better. Maybe you'd like to come visit. I don't think I showed you the other side of it just yet. Yeah, so what I can do is real quick show you that. Because, you know, you have your, your different sides that you have feelings for. You know, this is before you can terraform, you know. Here's where the campers would come, you know, the people who would come visit or what have you. You come out here on the dock and fish. You know, very fun game. It's just, you know, it's only supposed to be a game that you play for like 5, 10 minutes in my opinion. Maybe 30 minutes a day. You know, during different times. You know, here's my Godzilla here. It looks pretty cool. But, you know, with everything going on, people kind of sank themselves into this game. Myself included. I never thought that, you know, I would uh, be playing it like that. But, you know, you get it as a gift. You don't want people to know that you're not using a gift that they give you. She, you know, got me this game because she ended up getting two of them. So she's like, hey, here, you can have it. Treat it as a birthday gift, which was cool. People don't really go out of their way to give me... Not that they don't give me games, because, you know, I'm a hard person to buy stuff for. But not something that they would have really wanted to keep. Well, you know what? We don't even have a shovel. So here's how that's done. I've kind of put one of these little workstations everywhere. You know, and I'm going to craft. So we're going to go over here and craft a shovel. Let's do it. So you may have noticed if you're, you know, not playing Animal Crossing and don't understand how it works. Um... I first had a black shovel, and now I've got this shovel, flim flimsy shovel. See how it looks different? It's just pretty much a wooden shovel. And I can upgrade that, which is what I'll do really quick, to the shovel that I was using with an iron nugget and the flimsy shovel. Let's do it there. So what you would normally want to do is use the flimsy shovel for a little bit until you think you've used it, you know, 10 or 15 times maybe. You be the judge. I mean, most people don't really count. And then before it disappears because it breaks, go ahead and craft and turn it into a shovel. And then you've got extended life out of that same thing without having to make two things. So there, I got another fossil, you know, this is pretty much all you do, you just keep getting fruit, you eventually save up money to pay off your house and or um, different items that you want, and you get this dog, I call him Dog Bob Dylan, I'm bad at using a net, but uh, eventually he comes to your town and sings songs and that's supposed to, you know, really get your... Uh, your town lit as the kids say he comes out here somewhere and everybody sits out here and listens to him play the songs you know theme songs and they talk in this little gibberish you know voice actors would be very expensive for this game 
is what I deduced based off all the text that goes on. But uh, Dog Bob Dylan comes and sings, and you pretty much see the credits when he comes. So after all that is said and done, you're left with trying to get the best island you can get, a five-star rating, getting all kinds of additional items, but they keep it fresh. They got extra characters and NPCs, you know, that, that uh, I'm sorry, extra characters that come in that are NPCs and different events that come in periodically, and it goes within the seasons. So, you know, it was Easter. They had an Easter thing going on. It was, you know... It's, it's going to be, uh, what holiday is coming up? You know, you'll have, you know, 4th of July, maybe they'll do something. I'm not sure, because that's an American holiday, but, you know, you know what I mean. They'll, they'll have little things catered towards, you know, world events, world holidays, and things like that. You can bet Halloween there's going to be something going on. You can bet Thanksgiving they may have something going on. You know, you can bet that, uh, Christmas for sure. They'll have some, some kind of event going on. The weather changes. You know, you might have snow, things like that. But I've rambled on long enough. If you like this video, give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a like and maybe tell me why you didn't like it. But again, uh, hit me up for my switch code, switch ID, and all that stuff. And uh, maybe you could come visit my island. We can trade stuff and make each other's gameplay experience that much more fun. That said. I am going to end the video here. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Other oh, yellow hat guy out.